Hi, if you'd like to come on in and have a seat for some symbolic support, a little divination dose today for old souls, all signs, the collective alike, if you want to ground into your energy. We're going to utilize the Ice Cry Scrolls, a little astrology and aura vibe, add on some tarot and oracle, and as well, we have a ghost tube here kicking for any audio additions that may inspire or irritate. Receive a release freely, of course. All the links are below, personals, all that kind of good stuff, even the ghost tube there. No affiliation, just so you know. I also have a little treat if you're ready for this, but please bear with me. Ready? Oh, ooh la la. Ooh la la. So fun. Please have patience with me as I'm trying to figure things out. Let I'm me show you. Still trying to figure other things out. But nonetheless, let us set the stage. If you'd like to join me to close the eyes. Cleansing the palette of perception. Releasing the race in the rush. Activating the abstract mind and ancient awareness to perceive and receive symbolic support. And the aura of all that is. Thank you for being here, for being my muse, and for holding space for me to share my insights. Let's go. If you'd like to continue just breathing and grounding into your own energy. Oh, we're going for the top one. Will I grab some scrolls here? We'll see what comes through and you know the drill to always see, sense, and feel for yourself first versus my yammerings. We'll take one more. Yeah, there you are. Okay. Excuse the lighting, but it, the sun is starting to come up here, so we'll see what's going on. Oh, this has been coming out a lot, this uh, aura scroll of the crown. Interesting. Okay, Wonderful. I will. Ready? If you want to take a moment to take this in, to see what's standing out to you, this other camera is like super sensitive, uh, but we'll do our best nonetheless. All right. So what I am feeling here is this, it's com something's coming together in this day, wherever you are right now, even in these two frequencies that seem sharp, but it's like I'm actually seeing it horiz horizontal. Sorry, I forgot my little face is up there. And things are coming together. And it's not a flat line that one might think in like a, a heart. I'm actually seeing it more like uh, Charlie Brown on his shirt. And it's opening up a channel. So while it's like one vibe is going this way horizontally, maybe more passive, it's actually starting to come together with something else maybe you've been really thinking about, caring about, wanting to bridge and blend and connect to, and the channel's opening up. Oh. Yeah, they're meeting together. Do you see that? Do you see how they're meeting? And they're like, it's like, oh, what's that? Um, Offended. It's like an old pig. Is it? I don't know if it's Michael. Forgive me, but they're like touching, uh, almost touching fingertips. In all fairness, I'm seeing it through the show Arrested Development. There's a connection. There's water there, and I feel like I'm very, very watery, as though I'm reflective. Like I am standing on top of a mound, but here is the water, and it's reflecting down upon me. The other side, the other side of the coin, the other side of your heart, those in the afterlife, your spirit guides, whatever the case may be. But I do feel like this is someone specific. This is a spirit no longer incarnate. What level or where that lands them to be, I can't say. I don't know. But that it's they're right there. They're right, they're right there. And this water of feeling and emotion is like coming forward. And it feels so sincere, so sincere. And right here, it's like this. I want to line up with this channel. Sorry, yeah, it's super sensitive. But we are here. That's what we do. Okay. And there's even someone overseeing this connection. Ornament. There's absolutely something overseeing this. It feels slow and steady as though I am, because I'm seeing this like a, a, a goatee of sorts. And it's like, oh, and okay, so now the ink just transformed on me. And there's like an honor. There's a bowing forward. And it's almost like angel wings. It's a very specific kind of, um, okay, in, I don't know if they exist for, you know, traditional male shirts, but for, um, 
the feminine clothing. I think it's called a bat wing shirt. Yeah, it's not a cowl neck. It's a bat wing shirt. And it's almost like this drapery Goodbye. or a shawl. Goodbye. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, and I want to come on over into Sagittarius. Feels a lot more fiery. Like this feels all water feeling, you know, even with love and Venus and this this beat, this frequency. Cursed. Hmm. Perhaps that's what I'm working through. Perhaps that's what I'm working through, a feeling lost, but knowing I am not lost. If I am here right now with you, with a mirror, with somebody else even, how can I possibly be lost? We're here together. You and I. What happened? Even, even with somebody else in the afterlife or the angelic realm. We're here together feel me feel me and it's almost like through the fire of moving through anything that might be really uh zappy i don't I don't know how else to say how that's feeling um okay so something that might feel zappy in it in regards to an emotion that just kind of comes in and zaps you, or maybe it's an external energy every so often. But then as I was doing that, uh, I don't know if it's from SNL Saturday Night Live or I can't remember, or it's a show, but they're two dancers and they do this and they do it in sequence and it's very quite comical, but I feel like it's very, very lending to it. This instead of feel the zap and then bounce back, bounce back, bounce back. It's really quite an incredible harmony that's happening. And I'm landing here in the crown scroll because it's like, this is where I'm a little defensive with steam coming out of my nose. Like I'm getting ready to charge forward through the very channel that's Tree. leading me here and leading me there. It's like, this is the water. I'm also seeing that as a, if you see a shape or symbol in there, you know the drill. Please feel well to comment below. I think I'm seeing it as a club, you know, like spades, hearts, clubs, this, that, or the other. Uh, possibly something else. Possibly something else. There could be something in the family line that you're working through karmically. And it's not as though like you, you're the one burden of the black sheep. You've chosen to let something go. You've chosen to be the one to bury it. Not in... Not in a way of like, oh, I'm not going to deal with this anymore. In a way of we're laying this to rest. And maybe this person, you're, you've picked something up or you have a gift that is akin to somebody before you in your family line and you've picked it up and you're, continu you're continuing to pave the path. But in lieu, that means laying something to rest that might have been in the past. Their sacrifices any sort of wars of to or from against them it's like i'm choosing to lay that to rest and to carry on this gift this message this whatever it is that you might be feeling or doing and instead of being pummeled by it i can find find the beat it's like oh yes that's right this is how i'm going to move forward with this this is how i'm going to move forward and with adaptability Libra. coming, this is what we're talking about. And even with Libra coming through, it's like, oh, this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to adapt. I'm going to continue to, hmm, how do I say, how do I say, move into, I'm going to move into the beat for momentum moving forward. Versus focusing on what may be viewed as like a valley, a mountain in a valley, a mountain in a valley, past, present, past, present, somebody else's past. And I, I truly want to lay it to rest because that's what is the, truly the honor and to let go of the pain and resentments and say, I got this. I'm transmuting this in the here and now in the present moment. So your memory, this angel, your ancestors can receive that. The cosmic womb coming. There's that celestial kind of feeling from that angelic realm. That really makes me feel like, yes, please surrender. There's that um, bat wing shirt again. It's very enveloping. It's very like a webbing of sorts. It feels really, really nice. 
It feels really, really nice. And then we have heart, home, compassion. See, even in this connection, it's love. There's so much love there. Two hearts beat as one. Maybe you're looking for a resonance relationship. Personal, professional. Are you a friend? Maybe, absolutely. Uh, could be in your career. Could be in with yourself. Like, even with your ancestors. And it's like seeing this, putting the club down, right? Whatever that weapon is in relation to, what is that word? Give me a moment here. Let us think together in this moment. It's not vigilante. It's continuing. I, I don't put putting the club down and not feeling like a failure because you're not fighting the good fight or continuing the fight. It's saying I, I've learned from what was and I respect and honor that. And I'm in regards to this ancestor or angelic presence specifically, I'm putting my club down because I'm seeing it like Neanderthal style or what is that? like cavemen it's like this is not the tool i'm going to use moving forward but i'm so grateful for it weak. and then it's like but i'm not weak for letting it go and that might be something in the psychology of the present moment to know where that comes from because i'm laying it to rest in honor of what was used and what that evolution of that tool has become and now i'm going to work with it and setting the stage of, mm, so the f future, I'll say future. Okay, so the future generations aren't cleaning up a fight. But I feel like this is very heart, uh, heart homeostasis. It's close to home. We can look at the collective and feel the collective, absolutely. But if I'm being very honest, this feels close to home because that's where the change happens the transformation happens because then it reflects bigger mirror thank you on how i interact with the collective and it's not necessarily from a higher place in a judgment it's follows it's by leading by example by leading by example follow the le leading literally leading by example bone collector from all those from before from that have come forward sorry with the lighting run. again i'm gonna run 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 away i love this look at, even look at that ancestor like she is just proud as a peach these are even interesting you are so wise this ancestor angelic presence that may be incarn incarnate many many moons ago even has their own wisdoms and weapons that were used and they've hung them up. There's also a lantern there of introspection. Like it's fascinating. It's so fascinating how each generation continues the momentum and deciding, choosing in what way, shape or form you're going to move forward with that momentum of those before you. We have here Dragon's Lair. If that card means anything to you, you know the drill. Please see, sense, and feel for yourself. This is bringing about any sort of, oh my goodness. Okay, so you see how in the Dragon's Lair card, and it's like that's the lantern, there we go, of the ancestor that is of the heart. Melting the cold of the history. Stop. It's like I'm suddenly seeing... Is it Antarctica or the Arctic starting to melt? And maps that once were depicted showing greenery. And then it was like hell froze over. And now I'm melting that away. But that means as the melt, as the water melts of things that I might feel cold ice cubes stuck in my throat from the past that hold me back. Because I feel like I need to I don't know what the word is, like retribution or something. I, I apologize. I don't know what it is. It's like, thank you. And I'm at, I'm at this grave, symbolically speaking. And I'm saying thank you to, to the walkings of those before me. And again, this feels very close to home. It's like, and I'm going to pursue 
the frequency for lack of a better term, but a perfect term, the frequency of love that was infused in what you did, the hardships you went through, the sacrifices you made. And I'm going to build upon them, not only for, for my generation in the present moment, but for those ahead. So there's not a fight. I hope this makes sense. If you want to take one more look, it's like a vision board. I won't, obviously it's all a little bit askew, uh, askew, but that's okay. If you want to take that in one more time, I want to thank you so much for joining me. This has been truly heart homeostasis. Like it feels all warm and fuzzy inside. And if there's, as you're working through anything, your, your family karma, your own responsibilities, responses, reactions, all that kind of good stuff, right? It's like uh, being the gentle gardener at the bottom of it all, because gardening in and of itself is not a gentle task. It's not a gentle task, but it does start at home. Until next time, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. All the links are below uh, to support, like, share, subscribe, donate, goes to all that kind of good stuff. Until next time.